Hey gang, this is your host, Brian Rollins. I'm going off script just before today's episode. Uh, We usually record two to three weeks beforehand, uh, but I felt compelled to talk to you really quick. Um, So this Sunday, we lost an icon. Uh, Alex Trebek finally uh, passed from pancreatic cancer. If you're anything like me, you're a huge fan of uh, Jeopardy. Uh, Growing up, it was uh, my introduction to trivia. It was uh, special. Uh, I shared it with both my parents, uh, watched it before prepping for knowledge bowl games and college bowl games, and now I watch it with my kids. So this is the end of an era for us. But I wanted to send my love to all the folks at Jeopardy and the Trebek family. Uh, We here at Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy um, loved Alex, Uh, still love Alex. One thing we can do is reach out and help. If you're familiar all with pancreatic cancer, you know how deadly it is. For those of you that are unfamiliar with it, it is the third deadliest cancer out there. The five-year survivability rate is 8%. The 10-year survivability rate is 2%. If you feel compelled to help out and reach out and do something in memory of Alex... Um, I'm recommending you go to pancan.org. That's the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. Uh, They're a fantastic group. I've done fundraising for them in the past. Uh, They help not only people fighting pancreatic cancer, but they're there to help create a support network for the families during and after their battle with pancreatic cancer. So I don't ask for any money. I don't have any sponsors, no ads, no nothing. So go out, have your pub trivia team donate, uh, since pub trivia is probably not happening where you are. Again, it's pancan.org, P-A-N-C-A-N.org. If you go there, they have a link uh, right there to donate in Alex's name. So we'll get to uh, today's episode, and I'll be all chipper and warm and fuzzy like always, but um, again... On behalf of myself, Blaine, and and everybody at Dorky Geeky Nerdy, uh, we love you, Alex, and we're going to miss you. Hey, gang, this is episode 94 of the Dorky Geeky Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week, as promised, we're getting back into the Star Wars universe with a third, or sixth, film in the series, The Return of the Jedi. I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and as always, we're going to do 30 trivia questions in three rounds. You'll have five seconds to guess before I give you the answer. Simple enough, right? I think that covers the basics. If you're looking for scorecards or scoring rules, visit the show's website at dorkygeekynerdy.com. Chewie says the Falcon's ready, so let's go. The Dorky Round Number one. What was the name of the creature that tries to eat Luke beneath Jabba's palace? A Rancor. Number 2. According to C-3PO, how many years does it take for the Sarlacc to devour its prey? One thousand years. Number three. It took six operators to work which character's animatronics? Jabba the Hutt. Number four. What two rebel starfighters make their debut in Return of the Jedi? A-Wings and B-Wings. The latter had little scream time as they didn't show up well against the blackness of space. Number 5. Who directed Return of the Jedi?
Richard Marquand. Number 6. In early cuts of the film, what color was Luke's lightsaber? Blue. It was changed to green to make it clear it was a new lightsaber, not his old one. Number 7. In the original draft of the script, what creatures were used in place of Ewoks? Wookiees. Number 8. Along with Lando and the Falcon, what X-Wing pilot survived to help destroy the second Death Star? Wedge Antilles. Number 9. How old is Yoda when he passes away? Nine hundred years old. Number ten. What does Luke throw to drop the door on the Rancor? A skull. The Geeky Round. Number one. Two characters have a bad feeling about this. Which two? Han Solo and C-3PO. Number two, Carrie Fisher would bring cookies and chocolate milk to what actor during breaks in filming? Warwick Davis. He was 11 at the time and she worried about his well-being. Number three, the producers used what fake film name to keep fans away from production? Blue Harvest. Number four, who played the unmasked Darth Vader? Sebastian Shaw. Number five, who played the Emperor in Return of the Jedi? Ian McDiarmid. Number six, what real world location stood in for the Dune Sea? The Imperial Sand Dunes. They are located outside of Yuma, Arizona. Number 7. What is the name of the singer in Jabba's Palace? Cy Snoodles. Number 8. Lando credits his promotion to General to what? His little maneuver at the Battle of Tanab. Number 9. What is the name of the shuttle that takes the rebels to Endor? Tiderium. Number 10. Jabba refers to Han Solo as his favorite what? Decoration. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. What was the name of Jabba's little pet slash court jester?
Salacious B. Crumb. Number 2. What's the name of the Twi'lek dancer that's fed to Jabba's rancor? Ula. Number 3. What real world language is Lando's co pilot, Nyan Nyub, speaking? A Kenyan dialect called Heya. Number 4. Who was originally cast as the Emperor? Alan Webb. He dropped out due to declining health and passed away a few weeks after filming began. Number 5. Which actor had his name misspelled in the credits of the first two Star Wars movies, but had it corrected in the third? Dennis Lawson. He spells his first name with one N. Number 6. What was the name of Jabba's initial translator? Bib Fortuna. Number 7. According to the costume designer, which artist's work inspired Princess Leia's slave outfit? Frank Frazetta. Number 8. What character had to wear a fake beard so we would match his action figure? General Maydeen. Number 9. Who is the only actor to return and film new material for the 1997 Special Edition? Femi Taylor, who played Ula. Number 10. What sound designer had a cameo as an ill-fated Imperial officer? Ben Burt. He's the poor guy that hand throws a satchel at and knocks over a railing. And we're back. The Ewoks are celebrating, so feel free to join them. Just don't ask what's in the stew. We'll be back next week with more trivia goodies. Speaking of which, here's your clue. What computer animated movie debuted in 1995 and was followed by three sequels? I hope to see you back here next Wednesday. In the meantime, be sure to visit us at dorkygeekynerdy.com or wherever you might find us on social media. This has been episode 94 of the Dorky Geeky Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music is by Jason Shaw. You can find him and his tunes over at audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. Thanks for listening, and may the Force be with you. Is the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. 
So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. When a U.S. expedition is attacked, three survivors, a professor, her student, and a soldier are saved by a mysterious vessel, the Namtsev. The enigmatic Captain Nikto elects to keep the captives aboard, requiring each of their skills for his daring pursuits. But as evidence of a rogue submarine alerts the world's navies, the captives must work together to avoid annihilation. 20,000 Kilos Under the Sea is a fast-paced adventure thriller that's described as the classic Disney adventure meets the hunt for Red October. 20,000 Kilos Under the Sea, a modern retelling of the Jules Verne classic, written by Richard Wycliffe and narrated by Brian Rollins. Available right now on Audible or iTunes. Discover adventure and madness beneath the waves.